works? What'd I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about our boat? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We have to bring him with us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem. Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know, you're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, 
thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. Uh, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep, so we gotta be ready.